Today I'm having a look at the uh, Jai Yang fluid head that came off my monopole. Uh, I'm very impressed um, the fact that I can actually remove it and even more impressed is the fact I can mount it to a very old tripod I've had uh, in excess of 30 years. My brother very kindly uh, produced a little bar for me with a screw on the bottom that um, matches the thread on that so I can actually mount it to my uh, to my old tripod. So yeah, I'll show you uh, this in use later but for the moment uh, we'll just have a bit of a look at the uh, unit itself. Now we've got an extendable handle so again it's pretty simple just a little bit of a rotation you can sort of extend it out pushing back in anywhere in between and just simply rotate to lock and it locks in position. The unit itself plugs into the side here you've got a left and right side so if you're either left or right handed so it can uh, mount at any particular angle you want which is very handy. The mounting plate underneath has a hexagon uh, set in it so you can actually drop your uh, oops the bolt in so she locks in nice fits nicely into the base of the unit here which is uh, threaded I think it's uh, uh, I'm not certain what the size is is it a quarter inch I think possibly looking at that um, anyway it's uh, standard uh, standard sort of tripod size the uh, head comes with uh, a nice little adjuster tensioner on left and right side so you can actually tension one or the other again if you're left or right handed this little unit um, We've got a little tensioner that you can use left or right handed. Uh, you don't have to have both locks, you just have one only, which is rather nice. Um, you've got this little device here, which is your locking plate to stop the unit over uh, the camera from sliding off. Uh, quick release mechanism on the other side, which is this little red button. Just press it, slides off, the plate comes off quite nice. Um, and a little um, bubble float to sort of show your level. Uh, really. I don't know whether I'll use that or not. I think it's uh, where it's actually sitting. If you hold the, <laughs> the camera and you've got your camera sort of sitting over the top of it, you're really not going to be able to use that. But I suppose it's, it's as handy if you're doing an initial setup. It's better than having nothing. Um, so that's basically the unit itself. Um, very, very uh, well built. The footage with this, the little bit that I've uh, played with, uh, the panning is incredibly smooth and the tilt up and down is just it's staggering it uh, it leaves my old unit for dead uh, but then again it is 30 something years old so I've got to be a little bit fair uh, modern technology versus the old um, but it's uh, it's been adapted to uh, fit the new tech the old so I'll get this right the old technology has been adapted to fit the new technology and it's saved me a heap of dough I don't have to buy another tripod um, I'll show you the tripod in a second, give you an idea of what we're looking at. I'm uh, doing a bit of handheld at the moment. That's the new technology. I'll just pop it to the side for a second. And there's my original little head. So I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't exactly get highly excited about that. But you can see the little bar down here um, and it's the same bar over here my brother's just added a little brass fitting so the two um, can actually join up with the uh, with the head itself the new uh, fluid head the tripod I'll just move this out of the way again very exciting stuff being handheld and there's the old tripod it's a uh, pretty old one I'll just turn it around oh you can see they're made in Germany it's a Prince uh, 2000 so gives you an idea it's a very very old tripod it's uh, pretty pretty impressive though you can actually mount the uh, units themselves like these little uh, heads you can actually mount them upside down so they they fit underneath or you can put them up on top here so they work both ways um, it's adjustable right down to the ground um, so in its day it was a nice little unit nothing spectacular but uh, I don't have to go and buy another one now, so I'm very happy with that. As you can see there, the, the old unit itself, you can mount the camera head upside down if you wanted to. Another good thing about it is um, you can actually go almost down to the ground. Um, and of course being handheld at the moment, I can't show you how to do that, so I'll have to turn off and come back. 
and here's the old tripod with the uh, legs splayed out so you've got the idea that's <laughs> I could actually touch the tabletop if I wanted to so for a very old unit um, it's comparable with the uh, the newer units or the newer tripods it can do everything they can do the only thing it doesn't have on it is in this little area here a little bubble float but who cares I don't need a bubble float I will do this as steady as I physically can Okay, I've got the uh, camera set up at the moment. Uh, I've got the old uh, tripod, the old uh, Made in Germany Prince 2000 with the uh, stock standard uh, video head on it. Now I'm going to try and do a, a, the smoothest pan I physically can with it and I'll compare that uh, shortly with the uh, fluid head from Jai Yang. Here we go. Okay, that's it, and uh, next shot will be with the uh, fluid head. Okay, uh, I've got the uh, Jai Yang uh, fluid head set up at the moment on the old uh, Prince 2000 made in Germany tripod from 45 years ago and uh, we'll do a bit of a pan on it And we might as well do a tilt just to see what it looks like. I think you can see that it's uh, extremely smooth. I'm bringing it down now. Very, very impressed with this unit. Okay, and uh, that's the test. Thanks for watching.